Well, today, another patient who suffered cardiac arrest during a routine surgery testified in the trial for a doctor accused of tampering with IV bags. The patient told the jury that his one-hour surgery turned into a one-month ordeal recovering in hospital. Fox Sports' Peyton Yeager in Dallas with the story. Peyton. Heather and that patient who took the stand this afternoon was a 78 year old man. He told the jury before the surgery he was extremely active for his age. Now his testimony took up the majority of the afternoon, but this morning we heard from a doctor who really set off the alarm that someone was putting drugs in these IV bags causing cardiac emergencies. 78-year-old James Eller exited the federal courthouse downtown Thursday afternoon after being called to testify in the trial for Ronaldo Ortiz, a Dallas doctor accused of tainting IV bags. In August 2022, Eller said he broke his hand on a trip to Norway, and he scheduled a surgery at Baylor Scott & White Surgicare in North Dallas. Eller told the jury he woke up in an ambulance on its way to Texas Health Presbyterian, where he stayed for nearly a month recovering. Eller's orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Duke Vo, took the stand next to provide more context on a surgery he said he's performed numerous times in his 23-year career. Dr. Vo stated it was only intended to last an hour, but Vo testified a new IV bag was given as he was wrapping up. Within minutes, the surgeon said Eller's blood pressure and heart rate spiked. Ortiz's defense team brought up Mr. Eller's underlying health conditions, including heart issues. Dr. Vo assured the jury he didn't see any red flags and deemed Mr. Eller fit for surgery. No question. Thank you so much. Earlier Thursday, Dr. Chad Marsden testified how he came to the realization the IV bags could be behind a string of cardiac emergencies at the center. Dr. Marsden said one of his patients experienced skyrocketing blood pressure and was rushed to the ER. Dr. Marsden remembered the nurse changed out the IV bag so she could chart the volumes. Days later, Dr. Marsden stopped by the Surgicare to revisit the charts. When he arrived, he said ambulances were parked outside. The patient in distress was Jack Adlerstein, who was 18 years old at the time when he went into cardiac arrest in the middle of a nose surgery. After Adlerstein was transported to the hospital, Dr. Marsden said he found a wrapper for an IV bag in the operating room. It had a small hole in it. In 2022, prosecutors released a short clip of surveillance video to the public. Thursday, new video was shown in court of Dr. Ortiz drawing up syringes without labels and then pacing around with multiple syringes in his pocket. And Heather, when that new video was shown in the courtroom today, that was another striking moment in this trial. Victims and the audience, even audience members who were there, became emotional. Dr. Marsden, he was on the stand. He let out multiple audible gasps. Now, the defense, on the other hand, tried to show that other employees were around Dr. Ortiz and no one was uh, acting out of the ordinary when he had those syringes in his pocket. Now, we begin back up tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We will continue hearing from Dr. Vo in his testimony.